Welcome to this Photoshop demo. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and I'm going to be showing you how to crop an image. So whenever you have an image that you wish to select a section from or you, you just want like a specific area to show up, you can start by clicking on the marquee tool here, the rectangular marquee, and you can select a section of your photograph and then come up to image and then just do crop okay that's the most basic way that'll allow you to get the exact area that you want now I'm gonna undo this and there's another tool that you can use this is actually the crop tool and what the crop tool will allow you to do and I'm just gonna make a selection here is it actually lets you see um, with this kind of darker background exactly the area that you're going to crop so you have a little bit more of a preview of how that's going to look now you can make that as dark or as light as you want just by simply clicking and dragging up here and then that way you can see exactly how your photo is going to look when it's finished you can also just put this back to the default at 75 and just do it that way so now when I hit enter on my keyboard I now crop that image exactly how I just previewed it okay so that's the second way to preview now with with this crop tool there's a couple things you can do you can actually set a height and a width so if you know you want an aspect ratio that fits a 5 by 7 image you can simply do 7 pixels in the width and five pixels in the height okay and so then when I click and drag you can see that this is now constrained to a five by seven image size so no matter what I do with this with this area here I can't actually change it without first um, changing those settings so I'm gonna hit enter and you'll see that now I have this really 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 tiny image here and you're probably wondering well, why did that happen well the reason that actually happened and I'll just kinda of zoom back out here because I just undid all that is that when I use the crop tool I did set a 7 pixel by 5 pixel radius um, or aspect ratio so but in the resolution I didn't change I didn't choose the resolution so it just assumed and it basically made um, seven pixels by five pixels okay so that's not exactly what we want to do so here you're going to want to specify actually um, inches okay so if you want a seven by five inch image that's what it's going to give you because this tool it doesn't just crop to the exact um, size that you've specified what it actually does is it resizes at the same exact time that's why I wanted to show you that so once again here we are working in inches and I have um, seven inches by five inches now when I go to crop I'll actually crop that exact image that I have okay so you can do a similar type of effect where you use the crop tool seven inches by five inches but let's say we want to change the resolution to say like a hundred and eighty um, pixels per inch okay now we're gonna see something different that happens so it's actually gonna take this area that I've just created and because I have a 72 pixel per inch image I am now going to actually scale up this image to be larger in size so when I hit enter you'll see that it actually got larger and the reason being is because even though I stayed within the 7 by 5 um, inch uh, aspect ratio I've actually increased my resolution from 72 dpi to 180 pixels per inch so um, just keep in mind if you do that and you do it excessively like for instance if I was to do the same thing but this time I made it 300 pixels per inch and I did the same kind of crop and let's say I went a little bit smaller you will start to get some blurriness going on here so you'll start to see that this is getting a little bit blurry and that's because we're scaling the image up beyond its actual physical size and so this image if we come up to image now we go to image size you'll see that this is now a seven inch by five inch image 
at 300 pixels per inch. Okay, so in pixels, that's actually 2100 by 1500 pixels. So that's just something to just be aware of: is that this crop tool can be powerful in a lot of ways because you're you're not just actually using like the marquee tool, selecting a size and then cutting that exact size. What you're actually doing is you have the ability to scale uh, with this tool and get very specific about how you actually want to crop your image. So um, that's just an additional functionality that I wanted to show you with the um, the crop tool here. And there's some other things that are sort of unique about this. And some of these features may not be um, available on um, other, you know previous older versions of Photoshop, but with this crop tool, you can also use this uh, perspective button. And when you turn perspective on, it will actually allow you to crop an image um, by tweaking these handles um, in any way that you like, so that you get kind of a um, almost like a 3D effect going on in the crop. So if I wanted to say crop that section just like that. Okay, and let's say I wanted this out a little bit further just to get a little bit of this mountain in here, kind of almost like a panoramic, and then hit enter. I now get that image as I cropped it out, and you can see it's somewhat distorted if I hit control T and actually transform that. I'm going to go into my um, layers here for a moment and unlock that. You'll see a little bit of uh, white space up in this corner. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in just a second. You can see that where the image kind of got chopped a little bit, but you can see that it's it kind of tweaked this image, if you will, um, based on that perspective that I chose. So that's just an additional feature that's available that may not be the effect that you're going for. Um, just wanted to show you that it is available. So I'll do that again. This time I'm going to actually unlock this layer and I'm going to use that same um, effect there. I'm going to put that in the center and I'm going to leave the perspective on and then this time I'm going to go ahead and uh, tweak this again here. Make it a little bit more maybe extreme this time so you can kind of see what's going on. And then go ahead and hit enter. And now it's really stretched that image out. Okay. And if I come up to my layers here hit control T. You can see that it still stayed within that size. It actually doesn't go beyond the borders, but um, it gives you this kind of funky stretched out kind of look, kind of perspective look um, based on that perspective that you that you choose. Um, this is an extreme example, but you can actually use it to straighten out images um, just by kind of tweaking the perspective a little bit in case uh, you're, you're maybe scanning in some photos or maybe the angle that you took the shot uh, you use the wide angle lens and it kind of stretch things out a bit. You can actually correct a little bit of that when you're when you're doing some cropping. So anyway, um, that are that's really the basics of cropping in Photoshop. Uh, there's some other advanced techniques that you can do, but definitely play around with this technique and play around with the crop tool. It's over here in your toolbar. Very easy tool to get to and access. And just remember, all your options are up here in the top section of um, the menu bar. So have fun with that and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com.